Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to a new custom ROM that is Colt OS. So basically this is a Colt OS uh, custom ROM which is again Android 10 uh, with the version 5.6 with the latest security patch of February 2020. Then the again Google Play system update of Android 10 or I would say 10 and the build date was February 20, uh, like February 10, 2020 and so on. A part of this, as we have already told, uh, discussed that Android 10 version, and a part of this SC, SC Linux status that is permissive. So now, a part of this, the bad thing is that this particular update doesn't uh, <clears throat> like have a provision of a OT update. So each and every time, whenever you have a latest update, either you have to do a dirty flash if you are on a uh, same uh, like on the same cold version like cold OS if you are on a different then you have to do a clean flash So basically from a security's point of view there is no face unlock but fingerprint scanner and uh, I would say pins uh, Pattern all are working absolutely fine. So let me show you a demo of uh, fingerprint scanner as well So let me pin up my uh, finger. So It's working absolutely fine. Let me do one more time. It's working again. Let me do last time and uh, although there is no such problem with the fingerprint scanner but again if you feel some uh, like sometime you might have to press harder on these uh, like fingerprint scanner to uh, like detect your finger but it's hardly out like one out of hundred uh, chances now let's move to the display section so although i won't be touching anything else except the theming so here we uh, like developer has provided us headline or body font and icon shape but there is a bug with the icon shape i'll discuss that afterwards so by default uh, body font is device default let me change it to maybe uh, sony sketch so now it has been changed and it will be throughout applied system wide now let's change to something else uh, maybe for the samsung uh, ui lover samsung one so it is again now let's discuss about the icon shape so by default i have selected teardrop in the quick uh, and it is showing the same in the quick settings and even on uh, like uh like even in the icon side uh, set and uh, overall but there is a bug so let's say if i'll be changing uh, icon shape from tier down to maybe square it will be changed in the quick setting but you won't be feel uh, like change uh, like you won't uh, see the updated changes in the icon set here on the home screen or rather than on the uh, like <clears throat> app drawer and so on so i don't know why it's not working but it should uh, but hopefully we'll surely be providing our feedback to the developer so that he can uh, update this in the coming uh, release or build So after display the very important thing is related to battery So I would say this is the best custom ROM after Ion OS in terms of battery even a better than uh, Ion OS in even uh, in terms of battery uses so like in terms of ideal uh, battery drainage, I have hardly seen three to four percent of battery drainage in a span of eight to nine hours. So you can imagine like nearly about 0.50 percent battery idle drainage. But this is not consistent. Sometimes it hardly uh, two or three percent. Sometimes it's three to four in a span of eight to nine hours. But you can try the same at your side. So I have just uh, charged my phone before creating this video. Otherwise, I might have shown you the actual usage. But all in all, it is giving a screen out time of nine to ten hour when you are playing one to two hour of Call of Duty or PUBG Mobile with some sort of uh, like uh, net surfing, some video as and so on. So uh, overall, good. Uh, batteries uh, like you say battery drainage and so on now in terms of uh, Battery users while playing games like PUBG mobile. So when I was playing PUBG uh, mobile I have uh, like analyzed up uh, I was I had played a one hour of gameplay and it has consumed nearly about 12 to 13 percent of the battery So all in all uh, I was using the uh, default uh, Settings which I'll be discussing afterward afterward. I was using the call of duty uh, like I had played call of duty again for one one to 1.5 hours uh, of gameplay so it has consumed uh, like if i'll be just telling you on a basis of one hour so it was nearly about 13 to 15 uh, uh, like percent of the battery was used uh, during that particular one hour of gameplay and as i mentioned you that we will be uh, checking the game settings uh, during the ram management so so i'll be uh, covering that part later on now let's discuss about the connected devices so overall bluetooth is working absolutely fine be it file transfer be it uh, like bluetooth audio and so on so it is working absolutely fine uh, and apart to this like screen casting is working uh, uh, absolutely fine out of the box there is no catch with this there is no bug with it so all in all 
good combination or proposition in terms of connected devices in terms of network dual voltage available there is no such major problem with the network and i has used i have like i have used uh, airtel and vodafone sims and two airtel sims at the same time so i haven't faced any issue video call option is available but unable to connect each and every time when i had a call with airtel or be it vodafone so you can try and you can provide your feedback on the same wi-fi calling option is available but i think our device doesn't support but if if you find something you do you can let us know and we'll surely look into that as well now uh, next part is related to the cold enigma so basically this is a uh, like uh, overall set uh, like customization part from this particular cold os uh, rom so you can change status bar you can change buttons you can change lock screen system and this is about so they have mentioned each and every uh, like maintainer or developer who is maintaining cold os uh, version be it for asus max pro m1 or any other phone and uh, so on so you can play with these like in uh, status bar you have these options in buttons in lo uh, lock screen and in system wide and so on and you can uh, do the customization according to your likings and so on now let's discuss about the quick settings so basically uh, they have provided all the vital quick settings and everything is working absolutely fine be it screen recorder so they have screen recorder you can test it at your side you might complain about these uh, like audio uh, like uh, recorded in this particular might be somewhat slow but again it varies upon uh, how how your pitch was or what was the music music you were uh, using while uh, screen was recording or you were doing the recording and so on apart to this dark theme is working absolutely fine so i just clicked it and it is working absolutely fine and apart to this screenshot, uh, this is really a very nice thing. You can press partial and so and afterward just a long press it and it will uh, like uh, click, uh, it will capture a screenshot. Apart to this, always on display is also working absolutely fine. Let me click on here and let me uh, lock my screen. So this is always on and this is again weather option is available. If you will turn it on and it, if you will provide a location functionality, it will also be showing you like this temperature and so on. And apart to this, there are many more you can try at same at your side like caffeine and so on. So the, all these are now repetitive. We have discussed this a lot and many time in our previous videos as well. Now just a short thing in terms of customization. So I'll just be going to tap on home screen. Afterward, I'll be clicking on style wallpaper. So there has there is one option like style. So they have already like default crayon, college, ash in, and so on. So I have created this as in my custom in the where I have my own setting. So let me apply it. So before applying it, let me show you it is rounded uh, rectangle. Oh, sorry, this is a rectangle. Now let me show you as I have selected a uh, teardrop. So now style has been applied throughout the system. So teardrop has been changed. My font font has also been changed. Earlier it was something else and so on. So you can also play with this. Apart to this, you have a setting for uh, setting clock and so on. So like default bubble analog type and so on. Apart to this grid section, this is also a common part, wallpaper and so on. So all in all, they have also provided a very minimal set of customization in home setting as well. I, I'll let you know that they, they are using launch here as in their default launcher. So all in all, it's a good combination in terms of uh, Android 10 and with the launch here. Uh, whosoever has been like a fan of launch here launcher, they will surely like this. Now let's discuss about the camera to APA. So let me open, uh, open camera to prop. So level three camera to APA support is available out of the box and apart to this DRM info. So before <clears throat> like installing this particular custom ROM, I was on version 407. So on that it was showing L3. So I'm not sure whether it is a, a like bug, uh, bug or I would say problems uh, pertaining to that particular version. But anyone who is at this moment at version 060 and haven't uh, done any installation towards uh, official Android beta 407 version, they can check and if they will provide or they will see L1, then they can let us know and that will surely uh, be helpful for the other users or subscribers. And apart to this, uh, like root checker is just if you have rooted, then the, this is a uh, by default camera app which has been shipped with the although picture quality is really good but again as we all know that we always need more so i've already installed a google camera as well and i have tested everything everything is working except the slow motion and we'll be providing you the link of the same on our official blog which we'll be discussing in the installation part now from the benchmarking part uh, so this is for the users who really want to see what what's the benchmarking and so on so somewhat low scores as compared to the other versions so it is just showing the com uh, like cumulative score or i would say aggregated score of one like 45 5000 plus 
and then we'll be seeing it segregated on the basis of other things like cpu gpu memory and ux these are the uh, values like 64000 plus 25000 plus 31000 plus 23000 plus so as compared to version 060 and version 407 it is somewhat slow uh, i would say low but again i never uh, ma uh, like put any major emphasis on these scores so this is just um, because each and every time whenever you will be running it you will see somewhat difference and again it varies from a variant to variance because at this moment i am using 6 plus 64 maybe the person who is using 3 plus 32 4 plus 64 might be seeing some other scores so in benchmarks in geekbench 4 we have some different scores so like in cpu uh, for single core score we have 282 for multi core score we have 1248 and in the same sense we will go for the computation part using vulkan api we have a 270 score and using OpenCL, we have a 434. So again, this is just uh, for the persons or masses who used to see benchmarking, but I never like it. Now let's discuss about the RAM management. So for that, I've already opened few apps in the background, uh, like some two major apps uh, like COD and PUBG Mobile apart from this, Geekbench scores and so on. So let me show you one by one. So firstly, we'll be uh, opening PUBG Mobile. So all in all where I have left it has opened from the same uh, rather than uh, starting from the uh, very starting point or I would say from the loading or initial loading. So overall RAM management is fine. Let's discuss about the uh, Call of Duty as well. So for that let me open again. Sorry, it was my bad. So this is Call of Duty. Again I have left it on the login screen or I was sorry on a home screen. So again it, it has opened from the home screen itself. Apart to this let's see uh, for other apps as well. So we were discussing camera to AP and so on. So let's see how it, it works. So let me close this. There is no such need for this. So camera to API. So it is working absolutely fine. So all in all RAM management is working absolutely fine. And uh, there is, I, I don't think uh, from the time I have pre started creating this particular uh, custom ROM uh, related videos on Android 10 base, I have seen any major problem with RAM management with any of the custom ROMs. If you have, you can let us know and we'll surely look for the solution if we can. So now let's move to the uh, like <clears throat> I would say installation part but before that we had to discuss one mi minor thing. So this is a uh, like you uh, like this is an article that I have already drafted on my official blog. I'll be providing you the URL in the description below so that you can go over afterward. So nothing major has been mentioned a uh, few links like Colt OS, uh, Rome, then GFs because GFs is not uh, inbuilt so you have to separate it uh, like flash it separately magic's version Google camera link which I had already discussed with you. And apart to this, a uh, few back like few prerequisite like you should back up your data and so on. So you all are aware, but again, this will surely help if you can go over this before installing it. And before that, I have told you that I'll be showing you the game settings. So I've just opened uh, Call of Duty. So let me click on the graphics at graphic settings. So audio and graphic. So I'm using medium and with the high frame rate so it is working absolutely fine so all those metrics of ben uh, like benchmarking which i have told you uh, in, in when we were discussing battery ban battery related things i i was using these particular settings while playing again let me show you in the uh, uh, pubg mobile as well so i'm using the hd version so it's really good that after even after 407 i'm getting hd so i was like in dilemma earlier than when i'll be installing it would i be getting hd so uh, this uh, that 40 uh, like hd bug is on 407 it is not here and little bit like i am also uh, feeling strange in terms of drm info as well why it's showing l3 but we'll see whenever someone will be installing after version 060 who hasn't tried version 407 and again using the high frame rate so uh, games are running absolutely fine with the smoother again you can try it as well and you can provide your feedback on the same now let's jump into the installation part for that i have to like boot into the recovery mode so let me do it and we'll directly jump into it so we have been booted to the twrp recovery mode so let's uh, like follow the each and every step by step thing so firstly you have to tap on wipe and afterward you have to click on format data and here you have to give a, a like some sort of authentication or i would say confirmation that type yes and afterward click on this and it will hardly take three to four seconds and it will format the data so before that please make a backup of uh, each and everything a part of this go back again now move to advanced wipe here you have to select four different partition like dalvik cache data and system you can select vendor but that is optional so i won't be doing it you if you want you can try it and it will again do two to three seconds afterward just move to back again back again back now we are good to go with the installation part so just tap on install 
afterwards select uh, like tap on select storage and select your convenient uh, external drive like usb otg or micro sd card so in my case i'm using micro sd card so i'm just tapping on it and clicking on ok afterward you just have to find the file where you have kept it so like in my case it is colt os so i'm just tapping on it and afterward you just have to swipe to confirm flash so it will take some nearly about four to five minutes so as it is showing android version 10 and so on so all in all let's wait till that time it will complete and afterward we'll be flashing g app separately because th this particular room doesn't include g apps so finally the room installation is done now again you can do uh, like a reboot system if you don't want to flash g app but again in the uh, later on you have to do it because there is no such option of play store and so on so before moving that i always recommend that wipe cache and delvic just do it and it will hardly take two to three seconds it is done afterward move on back again back now you have to find that particular g apps where you have kept it so in my case i'm using nano version it's always good to use nano version or pico version but i always recommend nano because it uh, if you will be trying some other version at this moment there is some bug with the android 10 base sdk so they are only creating nano and pico version but whenever they will be i always recommend go for nano so just tap on it and afterward just confirm to flash it it will again some uh, take its needed time so let's wait till that time so finally the installation of g apps is also completed again we have two options reboot system or wipe but i always recommend to wipe it now if someone wants to root their phone i always recommend that you should do it after your first reboot because sometimes some roms are not compatible in terms of rooting the phone with the before uh, like setting up the phone so let's just reboot it and uh, like and speedify the process of setting up the phone so let's wait till that time we boot into the cold os the um, like animation for cold os is really very nice it will like if someone is playing games they surely like it that the way it uh, renders so let's wait till the time we move to that so as i have told you earlier that the animation of cold os is really very nice so it is like you are playing some sort of games and so on so you can see so now it is it will uh, like it has just started the phone setup process so usually it took 5 to 10 minutes so you just have to have some patience till that time it will complete this particular uh, process and afterward you i'll be showing you the bare bone structure or i would say the uh, structure after the uh, very phone setup process or i would say first setup process so just in two to three minutes the phone setup process has started so according to the same it has detected english india so let me do it faster but again a few few users or subscribers says that bro please don't skip this part i know you advanced users know that uh, this is just a common thing to do it but just for the persons who really want to see this part let me do it as soon as possible so after entering the wi-fi credential now it is doing doing the background checks for update this is just for the google play store nothing else or google play services whatsoever you can consider so if there will be any pending that particular uh, payload will be downloaded in the background and the process will proceed further so the next step is that do you want to copy your fresh setup i always recommend fresh set, fresh uh, setup for my videos because i don't want to copy anything again it is your wish again it will ask you for the previous pin or the uh, google account which was being associated while before uh, flashing this particular rom so i'm just going to skip while adding the new google account and so on because you all are already aware about this and afterward uh, fingerprint as I've, I've already shown you the fingerprint scanning it is working absolutely fine hardly a failure of one out of 100 so this is negligible so i'm just skipping the fingerprint scanning so that we can finally jump into the so as i've told you earlier that this is a uh, the launcher is by default based on the launch launch here so let me do it and by default this is the bare bare bone structure like we have already shown you that uh, this is a camera app which will be shipped by default but again we uh, like photo quality is good but again if you want more you can uh, uh, install uh, like <clears throat> install google camera which we had already provided you in our blog url and apart from this all these are the uh, like bare bone app structure there is no major plotware and so on so this is the setting for the launch here again let me confirm you like android 10 version then cold os 5.6 so all in all this was all from our side in terms of review plus installation for the colt os 5.6 version hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks